Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to offload any of your unused apps on your iPhone. It's a great way to free up some storage, to have more space, but still retain all your login information and still be able to use that app when you want to down the road. So it's pretty quick and easy to offload all those apps. The first thing you'll do is just head into your settings here. And then once you're in settings, you will scroll down and you'll see general. At the top, you can hit general, and then midway down, you'll see iPhone storage, and you'll tap on iPhone storage. Now, this might take a while to pull up and compile all of your storage on your iPhone, but once it does, it shows you all these different apps that are taking up various data. And a lot of these apps take up data in their cache and have all these other kind of saved information on them, that might be taking up a lot of space on your, on your phone. You can see Twitter is taking up almost a gigabyte of information on my phone. So if I wanted to just go through individual apps, I could say tap on Twitter and hit offload app. And then it will say it will delete the app, but keep the documents and data. So you can hit that offload the app that will remove all of the core files of the app, but still keep your login information and all that stuff. If you wanted to go back and you can see at the top, offload unused apps. If you hit enable on that, it says it'll save up to 1.5 gigabytes of data and that'll save up a lot of data. Basically, these are only apps that you haven't used in many, many months or maybe years. It's apps that you have on your phone, but you're not really actively using. What it will do is it'll keep all your personal information for that app, but it'll delete the kind of core app files. And if you ever wanted to go back and open that again, let's get out of here. So you, I just went through the process of offloading Twitter. You can see Twitter is still on my desktop here on my homepage. And if I just tap on it, you can see the little cloud icon at the bottom left here. If I tap on it, it'll say loading. This is basically installing a fresh new version of the app on my phone. And then I'll be able to tap on it and it'll open up and it'll save all my login information and everything. I'll just be able to get right back into Twitter. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.